The local shelter was hit really hard by floodwaters mm -hmm. this week, forcing people to find somewhere else to stay after already being at rock bottom. Brandon Bates shows us what's next. This is one of the rooms flooded in just a matter of minutes at the Salvation Army Family Shelter. Inside the building, 34 people from elderly to infants forced to get out. When the building started flooding, they actually took blankets off their bed mm -hmm. to stop up, you know, to block their doors. Um, so a lot of the blankets, a lot of the furniture uh, in the shelter has been damaged. After flash flooding on Monday, the people here at the Salvation Army had no choice but to relocate. Organizers say their number one priority is keeping the people here safe. Just to see the water come into the building at such a rapid speed and just not knowing when it was going to stop, um, when the levels were going to drop low enough to sort of push some water back out, uh, especially with the little kids. They didn't really understand uh, and it definitely scared them. As cleanup efforts continue, those who were displaced are now staying at the Boys and Girls Club in High Point. Officials say this could take up to six days to dry the building. As for the flood damage, people here at the Salvation Army say it could cost several thousand dollars to fix the issue, and they hope to have it resolved as soon as possible. I'm told the community stepped up to help those in need after that flash flood by providing blankets and other necessities needed to live. Also, they say they're lucky they were only at half capacity or else this could have been a lot worse. Reporting in High Point, Brandon Bates, WXII 12 News.